All right, it's one after. We're going to go ahead and get started. Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday and welcome to yoga. I'm Jerry Gibbons. I have not yet met you. So glad that you are here. We're going to get started today on our hands and knees. So go ahead and come into table pose. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees beneath your hips or slightly further back. And we'll just start with some simpler movement for the spine here. So with your inhale, look forward with your heart, your chest, and feel the tailbone lift behind you. As you exhale, round the back powerfully, feeling the mid-back reach toward the ceiling. And then inhale, look forward again, feel the tailbone lift, and exhale, round the back powerfully. And just continue to move between these two poses. Looking forward, inhale, rounding the back, exhale. Starting to ground into your body a bit. And then we'll make this movement just a little bit more dynamic. So inhale, looking forward. Exhale, sink back into child's pose, seat to the heels, forehead to the floor. Then inhale back up to hands and knees, look forward. Exhale back to child's pose. Inhale up to hands and knees. Again, exhale back, child's pose. Do that a few more times. Inhale. Exhale. Good, making this a bit more dynamic. Inhale up to hands and knees. Curl the toes under, lift the hips into the air, downward facing dog. And then inhale, float back down onto hands and knees, release the feet. Exhale, child's pose. Good, let's do that again. Inhale up to hands and knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, floating down onto hands and knees. And exhale, child's pose. Please continue to move between these three postures. Inhaling to hands and knees, exhaling to downward facing dog or child's pose, alternating between the two. Just getting this body nice and warmed up today. <sighs> Moving with your breath. One more time through. And take your time getting there. But the next time that you land in downward facing dog, go ahead and stay in downward facing dog. So in down dog, you're going to want to feel the hips reaching toward the ceiling behind you. And you can walk the dog out a bit here, pressing one heel to the floor and bending the opposite knee. So just kind of pedaling the feet a little bit lengthening one leg, and then lengthening the other leg. Just go back and forth a few more times. Still feeling the hips reaching toward the ceiling behind you. The back is flattening out here. Good. With your next inhale, gently float down onto hands and knees. Release the feet, exhale, child's pose. Stay for a breath. Good. And then from here, go ahead and roll yourself up to a seat. And we're going to come to sit down with our legs in front of us. So go ahead and join me here. And I'll quickly demonstrate what this pose looks like or this exercise because there's a couple of components to it. It might just be easier to see it first. So with my left leg extended forward, I'm going to bring my right foot to the inner thigh, the knee is bent here, okay? And we're gonna start in a relative forward fold, only going as far as you can, and we're just getting warmed up, so this does not have to be your deepest forward fold. And the movement from here is if my left leg is forward, my right arm is gonna sweep back behind me and plant, and I'm going to lift the hips, sweep the left arm around and up and look up. And then exhale, I'm going to sit down, <laughs> sweep forward and come back into the forward fold. We're just gonna keep moving in and out of this exercise, lifting up and then coming down, okay? So I'll do it with you. So left leg extending forward, please. Right foot to the inner thigh. 
And just start again in a relative forward fold that does not have to be your deepest. Just establish this for a breath or so. And then it's your right hand that's going to lead here. So go ahead and sitting up, reach your right arm behind you, plant it behind you, lift the hips, sweep the left arm up and back, turning the chest to look toward the ceiling. And then exhale, bring the hips down gently, and then spin forward, bringing the right arm toward the left foot. Good, then sweep the right arm back, plant it, lift the hips, left arm lifts. And exhale, release, and fold. And just go through it a few more times. Remembering that we're just getting warmed up here, so this is going to be your fullest expression of any of these postures. Let's do two more. Lift and fold, lift and fold. Staying in the forward fold this time, just for a few breaths. Again, it doesn't have to be your deepest fold. Good, then go ahead and sit up. And we'll switch sides. Go ahead and extend your right leg forward. Bring the left foot to the inner thigh. And again, starting with the forward fold, just folding over that right leg. Now it's the left arm, left hand that's going to guide you here. So sitting up, sweep the left arm behind you, plant it, lift the hips, reach the right arm up and back, turning the chest toward the ceiling, and then exhale, release the hips down and come back into the fold. And then left arm back, hips lift, sweep up. Exhale back down. And a few more times on your own. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lowering down. Let's do two more, all right? Sweeping up, inhale. Lowering down, exhale. Final one, lifting. And lowering down, coming into the fold and stay for just a couple of breaths. Good. All right. Go ahead and lift yourself up. I love that one. It's kind of dancey. It's kind of fun. So we're going to go ahead and come into downward facing dog. So we're going to come back onto hands and knees, please. And curl the toes under and lift the hips. Good. And downward facing dog, please lift your right leg into the air behind you. With your exhale, swing or carry step the right foot forward. Help it forward if you need to. And back knee comes to the ground. Inhale, sweep the arms up, coming into a crescent lunge. And with your exhale, bring the hands down and step back to downward facing dog. Left leg lifts when you get there. Exhale, swing or carry step the left foot forward. Help it through. Back knee to the floor. Crescent lunge on this side. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, hands down, stepping back. Right leg lifts. Exhale, step. Knee to the ground, come on up. Exhale, down and back. Downward facing dog. Left leg lifts. Exhale, step. Good, coming up. And down, stepping back. Right leg. And step. Crescent lunge, coming on up. Good, and back. Last one for now, left leg lifts and step it through. Coming up. Good, hands down and step back to downward facing dog. Once you get there, go ahead and walk your hands back to meet your feet coming into the standing forward fold. Bending the knees slightly, allow the upper body to drape over the legs. And 
and staying for about one more breath. Good, and then from here with an inhale, roll yourself all the way up to standing. Good, all right. Feel free to hydrate if you'd like to. We'll move into our arm swings exercise next. So this is a three-part inhale through the nose and one powerful exhale out of the mouth with the movement. So three-part inhale means we're just kind of segmenting into three parts and you'll see why as we go along. The movement we'll do today is we'll have our feet about hip width apart and there'll be inhale arms up, inhale arms back, inhale up, and then exhale, jab the elbows back. So it's inhale, 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 exhale. All right, we're gonna go for about two minutes. So find a pace that works for you and try to keep doing it the whole time if you can. So stacking the feet underneath the hips again, nice stable stance, inhaling through the nose, exhaling out of the mouth, let's go. Inhale, 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 exhale, inhale, 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 exhale. <laughs> Feeling the full movement of the shoulder joints, up, back, up, and jab. And with that inhale again in the nose, you're feeling the lungs fill to capacity. With that powerful exhale, feel the navel pull into the body and up, clearing of the lungs, the throat, the respiratory system in general. <laughs> helping to get rid of some of that stale toxic air that can build up in the base portion of the lungs when we get trapped in shallow breathing rhythms, <laughs> which can happen when we feel stressed out. One more minute. About 40 or about 30 more seconds. You're almost there. Three, two. And one, release. <sighs> Feel for a moment. Sensation in the body, your breath rate, your heart rate. It's sometimes called the breath of joy. You might feel a little bit lighter after that. <sighs> Good. Good. So with the feet still stacking underneath the hips, I'm going to give you a couple of options here and we'll build towards it. For now, start with the hands on the hips, OK? Good, so there's a little bit of balancing that goes into this one, but you only have to do it for long. So you're gonna take a deep breath in. With the exhale, bring your right knee up as high as it'll go, and then exhale, put it back down. Then uh, left knee up and down. So it's exhale, knee to chest, inhale down. Exhale, knee to chest, inhale down. And just keep going from side to side, trying to put the foot down where you picked it up from. Call these marching crunches. So as you bring the knee up, there's a little bit of a tug at the navel and low abdomen. Now, if you want to make this a bit more, more, <laughs> you can take the arms into the air, reaching up as you move from side to side. And if you want to make this a bit more, you can bring your opposite elbow down as you bring the knee up, helping to emphasize the crunch at the abdomen a little bit more. And if you want to make this a little bit more, <laughs> you can bring the elbow across the knee. So you're crunching, but there's also a little bit of a twist that's happening at the abdomen. <sighs> and 
15 more seconds. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Release the arms down if they're lifting. Oh, feeling sensation, a little fire at the navel. All right. So go ahead and take the feet just a little bit wider apart, about shoulder width apart, toes pointing outward a little bit. And we're going to start to swing from side to side. And let your back heel lift so your hips can twist with you. The arms are gently hitting the body and you're looking behind you as you move. From side to side. Now, because we're constantly twisting, it's common for the breath to become shallow here. So I'll just ask that you deepen the breath if you notice that happening for you. Just imagining tension in the spine just breaking off as you do this. Moving from side to side. We're gonna do this for a full two minutes as well. So you're almost halfway. Again, check in with your breath, taking a deeper breath if you need to. Side to side, about 30 more seconds. Going for three, two, and one, unwind to center and feel sensation, know what's going on. <sighs> Good. Keeping the feet this wide apart, but turning the toes forward. I'm gonna ask you to interlace your fingers behind your back, squeezing the shoulder blades together, lift the arms off the back as far as they'll go, and then bend your knees just a little bit here. A little bit of bend to them. And then hinging at the hips, fold forward, taking the arms off the back and overhead. And breathing here. One more breath. And then staying in the forward fold, release the arms to the floor. Press the arms into the shins, bring your chest up halfway, looking at the ground, inhale. Exhale, fold down. Sweeping the arms off the sides of the strong back, lift all the way up to standing, reaching overhead. And then arms coming back down. Good. All right, so we're gonna move into a sun salutation next. Just get my mat in order. It likes to move around. So stepping to the top <laughs> of your mat. Feet about hip width apart. Bring your palms together at your chest. And we'll work that lunge that we did earlier, adding a twist to it, quite literally a twist to it. So <laughs> with your next inhale, please sweep your arms down, back, and up. With your exhale, hinge at your hips and swan dive, fold forward and down. Pressing palms to shins, come halfway up, inhale. Exhale, release down and step your right foot way back, knee to the floor. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands down. Plant the right hand. Inhale, sweep the left arm forward, up, back, and down. Plant the left hand. Reach the right arm forward, up, back, and down and then step back to downward facing dog. We'll do that a few more times, don't worry. And then inhale into plank pose. You could also do knees down here. With your exhale, bring your chest one inch from the floor and then come onto the tops of the feet, press the arms straight, take the shoulders back, upward facing dog, knees lift. And then exhale, pull back into downward facing dog. 
Beautiful. In down dog, lift the right leg into the air. Exhale, step the right foot forward, help it through. Back knee down. Inhale, crescent lunge. And then exhale, hands down, plant the left hand. Right arm forward, up, back, and down. Plant the right hand. Left arm forward, up, back, and down. Step the left foot forward. Palms to shins, halfway up here, inhale. And exhale, fold down. Sweep the arms out to the sides, come all the way up. And palms together at the heart. Good, let's do that again. Inhale, sweep the arms down, back and up. Exhale, swan dive forward over the legs. Palms to shins, halfway up. And exhale, release, we set the left foot back. Back knee to the floor, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands down, plant the left hand, right arm forward, up, back, and down, left arm forward, up, back, and down, downward facing dog. Plank pose or knees down, chest one inch from the floor, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Once you get to down dog, left leg lifts and step it through, help it forward, knee to the ground, crescent lunge. Good, exhale, hands down, left arm forward, up, back, down, right arm forward, up, back, down, stepping forward, palms to shins halfway up, exhale, folding, sweeping the arms out to the sides, come all the way up, and palms to the heart, keep this energy moving, inhale, sweeping up, exhale, swan dive forward, halfway, and down, right foot steps, knee to the ground, crescent lunge. Exhale, down, left arm forward, up, back, and down, right arm forward, up, back, and down, downward facing dog, plank, one inch from the floor, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, Good, right leg lifts and steps, knee to the ground, crescent lunge. And hands down, right arm forward, up, back, and down, left arm forward, up, back, and down, stepping forward. Palms to shins, halfway up, and exhale, fold. Sweeping the arms out to the sides, come all the way up, inhale and palms to the heart. Good, again, inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, fold, halfway. And down, step the left foot back, please. Knee to the ground, crescent lunge. Exhale, down, right arm forward, up, back, and down, left arm forward, up, back, and down, downward facing dog. Plank pose or knees down. Exhale, chest one inch from the floor. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg lifts when you get there. Step it on through. Knee down, crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, hands down. Left arm forward, up, back, and down, right arm forward, up, back, and down, stepping forward, palms to shins halfway up, exhale, release, sweeping the arms out to the sides, come all the way up, and palms to the heart, good, feel sensation for a moment, notice what's happening in your body, And then from your standing forward fold, go uh, from standing, sorry, go ahead and fold forward. Feeling the stretch in the back of the body. Knees are just a little bit bent here, just a little bit. Good, and then from here, go ahead and step into downward facing dog.
And then after a breath or two in down dog, go ahead and float down onto hands and knees. Release the feet and sink back into child's pose. Seat to the heels, forehead to the floor. And then go ahead and bring yourself up to a seat. And bring your legs out in front of you. All right. So I'm going to ask you to bend your left knee, bringing the foot flat to the floor, and just bringing the knee as close into the chest as you can. And holding on to it, allow it to help you to sit up as tall as you can. All right? So it's the left knee that's bent. You're going to bring your left arm behind you. All right, not too far back, but more closer to the spine. Then take a deep breath in, reach the right arm up, feel length in the front of the body. With your exhale, sweep the right arm across, hook the knee and twist, taking your left shoulder back and looking behind you. And just stay in the twist for a breath or two. More like four or five breaths, sorry, that was vague. <laughs> Good, and then carefully unwind. Extend the left leg forward. We'll do the other side, bring the right knee in. Again, holding on to it, helping it to help you sit up tall. And if it's the right knee that's bent, it's the left hand that goes behind the spine now. Then inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, sweep the left arm across the body, roll the right shoulder back, twist, and look behind you. And breathe. Go ahead and carefully unwind and extend the right leg forward. Good, so the more access or the more flexible you are in the backs of your legs or lower back, the closer the feet can be together, the less so, which is okay, the further the feet apart, but no wider than your mat. This will be our final pose. Sitting up nice and tall, take a deep breath in. With your exhale, just start to hinge at the hips, folding down over the legs. You don't have to touch the feet here. It's more about lengthening the lower back than extending the shoulders. And just fold over the legs for a moment. Feeling your chin drop toward your throat a little bit more, the back of the neck lengthening. Just taking a few breaths. Good, then go ahead and sit up. All right, so that is our class for today. Thank you so much for joining. I hope that this serves you well, and I look forward to seeing you next time. But thank you for being here. Namaste.